Don't forget to check out my Patreon where you can get exclusive access to all my picks and all my trades before they hit the market and before they hit YouTube. What's up guys and welcome back to another video on the finance value guy. Now today's video you guys genuinely need to pay attention to because this is, uh, it's interesting. It's like weird, okay? Because I do think that maybe this video is going to be a video where, you know, I'm talking, you know, about nothing, but I do think this is something because uh, we just had our first, like probably one of the largest Dogecoin transactions we've ever seen. Now, if you guys remember this account, okay, if you've been well watching with me and you've been paying attention, this okay look at this wallet okay this is the f2a wallet okay now the f2a wallet is the wallet that is regarded as elon musk's wallet we know this is likely to be elon musk's wallet because number one the first transaction into the account was for 1.5 billion dollars okay and understand 1.5 billion dollars even as an exchange i think that's a bit too much liquidity for one exchange to be having what's happened now okay is that we've seen, okay, that over since the day of the buy and the day of the buy was on the 10th of May as well, just after Saturday Night Live. And as you guys can see right here, we have, okay, you know, the price of the Dogecoin decreasing and it's, oh wow, that's not what I meant to do, but the price of Dogecoin has decreased subsequently since then. So this account has so far lost nearly half of their initial investment. But you guys might be thinking, what happened here? Did we just see a transaction, a sell transaction of this amount, okay, of 2 billion Doge? Did we just see that? a 700 million dollar transaction did we just see that get dumped onto the market did we just have a major doge crash well let's look at the price of dogecoin guys um let's not look at my charts because i've already done this charts but um let's look at the actual price of dogecoin but no we didn't have a major chart in fact what actually happened okay and what i just saw okay is um in fact let me see that's an old technical analysis i did i don't know why it's still there but it still seems to be playing out anyways um what i did have here okay is i did have uh where is it 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 guys uh, oh my god oh my god oh my god you're probably thinking where's the dogecoin where's the dogecoin i found the dogecoin okay look at this guys the dogecoin is here in this wallet okay there is two billion dogecoin in this wallet because at first i was like oh my god did this dude sell is he planning to sell what is going on but the Dogecoin, okay, let me just get these two wallets right next to each other. Yeah, this wallet is here, okay? And this transaction took place uh, a couple hours ago, okay? So this is pretty much breaking news, okay? So yeah, I don't know um, how much, uh, what, like uh, how, how crazy this is, but it looks like uh, that this uh, Doge, it looks like this transaction, if I'm looking at the value, it looks like maybe there was 3 million lost, actually, if I'm looking at the, the value transaction, because um, if we look at this number here, you guys can see that if we take the number that was lost and we open up a calculator, um, we're going to see, okay, that this is the value that was out of the account. Um, and let's see where the other value is. The other value is here. Um, and as you guys can see, this value, um, wow, this value is crazy. So I think there was like, uh, I think what this account was, is this account was testing the transaction fee. So as you guys can see, there's 6 million doge uh yeah six million doge that's actually a pretty huge transaction fee but i mean they did they did actually do a transaction of um 760 million dollars so that is a that, that's huge that is really really huge so um yeah as you guys can see right here this is insane okay because here's why i'm, I'm i don't want to say i'm scared but this is crazy. Now, Elon Musk, okay, he's previously said he'll never sell his Dogecoin. If you don't believe me, um, I'm not just spreading hopium. Um, and if you don't know what hopium is, um, like, let's just quickly define this because this is going to be a term that I'm using, um, you know, in a lot of my videos, okay? So basically, hopium is just basically like, it's hope, okay? It's just like an addition to false hopes. It's basically like insecurities of traders said to be under the influence of fictional hopium when they just, like, they're just basically, you just keep looking at things like, you're like, oh, it's going to go up. Oh, oh, this is going to go up. And hopium is basically like, guys, you're just on hopium. It's not real like understand the price going down so that's what hopium is hopium is just like pieces of data that tell you the price is going to go in the way that you think it's going to go okay so that's all it is so the point i'm trying to make guys is that right now okay this transaction okay I'd, i i don't know if i should be afraid i don't know if i should be scared the reason i'm not too particularly scared okay is because what did we have elon musk say a bunch of days ago elon musk says okay elon musk will not sell okay uh if you look at this Musk says he hasn't and won't sell any Dogecoin. So as you guys can see here, this is something that Elon Musk has said before. So uh, when I did see this transaction, I did panic because it wouldn't mean that Elon Musk has sold, okay? But it looks like he hasn't. It just means he's transferred. So remember what I said to you guys in my previous whale videos, I said to you that even though a lot of these transactions do look like sells, we don't know 100% that these are sells because there are transactions moving to and from accounts. That's all it shows us. The amount into an account and the amount out. And sometimes we can only presume that if money exits an account, okay, Okay, that it goes off an exchange to be sold. That is all we can presume. So um, yeah, as you guys can see here, we tracked the Dogecoin down. 
And it looks like, okay, that this amount of Doge, okay, is uh, is still in the wallet. Now, I don't know what's going to happen just next, but I, th I find it very, very interesting. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. So it looks like, you know, some of the Doge, um, some of it went somewhere. Is this the same wallet or is this? I don't even know, guys. Let me actually check what block this was. I'm pretty sure. Okay. This is a completely different wallet. I'm not sure if it's connected or not. You know, what? all the numbers kind of confuse me. I'm not going to lie to you. The point I'm trying to make, guys, is that right now, I think either two things are going to happen. Either two things are going to happen. Now, number one, I really don't think Elon Musk is going to sell. Okay. For a bunch of reasons. Number one. <laughs> Elon Musk decides to sell, he's going to ruin his reputation. That's just the God's honest truth. If Elon Musk decides to sell Dogecoin, he's going to ruin his reputation. Now, the reason I say that, okay, is because if he sells right here, okay, the price of Dogecoin is going to tank. Like, you have to understand that if we go on the BitInfo charts, okay, this new wallet, okay, Elon Musk's quote unquote new wallet or Tesla's new wallet, whatever one you want to call it, now ends in uh, JJY. So, when we go on the top, Dogecoin wallet, it's still a top wallet, okay? If we go and control F, then we go JJY, it's still number four, okay? So it's just kind of switched over. So I was scared at first and people like panicking and stuff, but as you guys can see, this is 2% of all the coins, okay? So if this whale account decides to sell, which it won't, okay? And the reason I say I don't think it will is because we're banking on it being Elon Musk and not an exchange. Um, maybe guys, this, this, this exchange could have been Coinbase. Maybe they're moving around for the Coinbase launch. That is a potential scenario, although I doubt it. I really do doubt that there is that much um, that much Dogecoin on one Coinbase exchange. The thing I'm trying to say that right now, guys, is that if this is Elon Musk, which it most likely is, which has a high possibility of being, I don't think he's going to sell. I think that he's probably just testing transaction fees, probably using the Dogecoin to do some stuff. I don't know if he's buying it. I don't know if he's doing something crazy. I don't know if there's an announcement coming out, but there could be something coming, guys. That is what we do know. Now, um, I wouldn't be worried about him selling because it's Elon Musk after all he said he wouldn't sell so um yeah previously he has sold Bitcoin but um as you guys can see right now he hasn't really announced this so he's pretty much free to do whatever he can with this Dogecoin either way right now we are in a speculative place now this is one wallet okay the one that ends in JJY I'm gonna be watching this wallet very very closely because I want to know exactly what he's doing if I see this you know if I see the price crashing or him selling a lot, that would be absolutely insane. Now, of course, we do know Elon Musk has a tremendous amount of power. So for him to sell this asset wouldn't be a smart stake. Elon Musk could literally tweet a bunch of crazy stuff about Dogecoin and the price could probably eventually get to $1. So I'm thinking that hopefully Elon Musk doesn't sell. I don't think I'm being deluded here thinking that he won't sell. I think this is a very, very realistic view. And I do think, okay, that this is not bad at all. It just shows that there's still some activity going on in this account. So I'm going to try to keep track of this Dogecoin. Let me know what you guys think about this. This Dogecoin was moved. Um, but yeah, so far the value has been lost. I'm kind of scared though. The only reason I am kind of scared is because I'm like, hmm, the value has, has kind of halved. And I'm wondering that maybe Elon Musk is probably thinking, you know what? Maybe I kind of regret buying this much Dogecoin because I just lost $700 million. And if that is the case, I'm pretty sure he's going to be thinking very, very hard on how he can make it back and then some because that Bitcoin Tesla investment thing was absolutely insane. So um, with that being said, don't forget to leave a like on the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Let me know what you guys think down below. I'm, I'm just interested right now because I want to know where this Dogecoin heads next and what announcements could be around the corner. So with that being said, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.